Hey guys, Van Buren 20 back again to give you some information that you may not know. Uh, I found out by doing some research and going to my local stores and stuff like that. But I'm sure you guys all know a company that goes by Nyko. It's a it's a company that makes like third party accessories for systems such as the Wii. And it's one of my personal favorites. I really love all their products and I stand by most of them. And they make stuff such as like the Nyko Perfect Shot. I mean, if you guys hadn't, you know, went out and bought this yet, it's only like 13, 14 bucks in the store. I mean, I recommend it. I mean, it's good for the rail shooters just to point and shoot games, but that's about it. But yeah, it's pretty good. I might do a review on this later on, but yeah, but products such as these is what they make. But getting back to the story, um, I recently, about a year ago, I bought us. Uh, I was looking for a wireless nunchuck. I knew somebody had to make them. I knew. I called Nintendo. They said they didn't make them, and they weren't going to. And it was kind of disappointing because you know the Wii. It's a wireless system, and having that string, you know, on the nunchuck was kind of annoying, especially if you're playing a game like Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, where you gotta, you know, run. You know, you gotta move the Wii remote nunchuck back and forth, and you get that string flopping all over the place. But yeah, getting back to it. I went to the store and I actually found a wireless nunchuck. Looked exactly like the Wii's nunchuck. As you can tell, this is this is not the Wii's nunchuck. It has a strap on it, just like the Wii strap. And if you look, you can't see too well. It's the exact replica strap of the Wii remote. And um, for safety reasons, I guess. But as you can, I mean, if you look at this, I mean, they downright, you know, just copied. They just downright copied the the Wii's nunchuck and I was ecstatic I'm like oh my god I got a I got a Wii nunchuck that's wireless it's about time and just demonstrating you know how this works it comes with this little hub here and you just plug it into your Wii remote like this when you plug it in it starts to flash and it, it goes nice and flush with your Wii remote and uh, once that starts flashing you push the little sync button on your uh, comma nunchuck and that will start lighting blue. I have no batteries in it right now, so I can't show you that's lighting blue. But yeah, then it's synced up. The only problem with this nunchuck is it's not as responsive as the regular nunchucks. I mean, I was playing Galaxy and some of the other ones, and it'd pick up the movements, but it wasn't as sensitive. Sometimes I'd have to shake the Wii Remote a little bit harder or, or whatnot. But, you know, and another thing that my complaint with this is when you plug it in, I mean, if you're this far away, it'll work fine. You go farther, it's almost, you know, not going to work. But as soon as you get, to, like, arm's reach, the signal, I mean, it loses signal. So basically, I mean, you have to imagine, like, the cord's still there because once you go so far, it loses signal, which is kind of a disappointment because I don't like to play with my hands close together. But uh, I'm really not sure why Nintendo didn't come out with their own wireless nunchuck because I'm sure a lot of people would buy it. Um, and I'm sure it would have been a lot better and more sensitive. But getting back to the story on what people might not know is if you go to stores right now, you won't be able to find this no more. Nintendo actually took Nyko to court and they made them take this off the shelves. Or at least where I live, if you go to any like GameStop, Toys R Us, any game system place that sells games, stuff like that, you will not find this anywhere. Anywhere. I mean, you'll still find it, but it would not look like this. See how it's nice and smooth, and same size, everything as the Wii? You, you won't find this no more. They actually redesigned it, and it has ridges on it, and it kind of looks generic. doesn't look at that good at all. But yeah, Nintendo, you know, they they didn't like, I mean, how they copied exactly the shape. I mean, I guess it's even made out of the same material as after I did some research. And this is an actual quote from Nintendo of America. They say, Nintendo says, while Nintendo supports the creation of innovative games and products used with our game systems, we cannot allow third parties to infringe our intellectual property rights. And I guess I kind of understand, but Nintendo, if you're not going to make something like this cool, like an exact replica of your nunchuck but wireless like a lot of people want I mean why, why make a big deal about it I mean come out with it yourself then already you know what I mean well, I'm, the only thing I'm guessing is maybe Nintendo eh, took them to court over this because maybe Nintendo is planning on releasing a wireless nunchuck in the future who knows 
But yeah, you will no longer find this in stores anywhere. You're just going to find the generic, you know, the redid version that has ridges all over it and doesn't look as nice. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys some info on uh, what happened. This happened quite a, quite a long time ago because I bought this about a year ago and still not some people know about it. So I figured I'd give you guys some useful information and I hope you enjoyed and there'll be more to come shortly.